All right, so um, this is the uh, second video I wanted to make. Um, and this one is kind of a, a tip or trick. Um, it's a pop can, okay? Now, it's snowing out. I've got white powder everywhere. And I just did a, a fire, or I started a fire with um, some lighter wood. So now what I want to do is, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to try this pop can survival stove thing I saw. Now what you do, now I'm using my Condor bush lore, but you can, you could use any, any knife that's sharp to cut an aluminum pop can. I have my clipper, but I'm kicking around here in my backyard and I like to have a little bit more sturdy knife when it's frozen out because you, you may have to like use it to like say chip, you know, stuff, you know, like if it's, if you, everything's got a coating device. But anyways, all you got to do to make a survival stove is you just cut a door in the side of a pop can. And uh, so all I'm doing is I make a vertical slit and then I make a side, two sideways slits. So they connect with the vertical. You can see this knife goes through this light, lightweight metal like butter. Open it up, and there's a survival stove. Now, say you've got limited dry material. So I've just got this uh, piece of hickory that I, I cut off of a bow, and uh, I'm going to uh, just try and you know kind of break off some bits here. And, get a little fire started in here using some of my um, fat wood and these hickory shavings. Now I haven't actually done this before so I don't really know how it's how good it's going to be but all I'm doing is taking and I'm just shaving off hickory shavings. Whoops, get up there. A little bit, a bit of wind's picking up. So you notice I'm, I'm not batoning this. I could, but I'm, I'm not because I don't, you know, this is, you know, limited, limited stuff. So I'm kind of thinking limited materials. But get, uh, get that in there. And then what I'm going to do is get, uh, I think I took it off of, uh, this side yeah this side here so all I'm gonna do is my last video I just kind of peeled a couple of pieces off like that I was gonna drop them in there and uh, then uh, okay one more piece and then I'm gonna scrape some fat wood fuzz off Because with any fire, it's all in the prep. So, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to my hickory piece here. And I might actually try and... Uh, I'm not going to be able to split that with my hand. But if I can just keep shaving some good pieces off. Um, what I'm trying to do is load... load this can up before I even try lighting the fire. So I got my can loaded and the, my idea is to start the fire inside of here and then all you'd have to do is keep shaving uh, material off of this and keep feeding that kind of like a stick fire. But then what you would do is you would place your uh, um, your uh, cup you know like say if you filled it with snow or something on uh, top of this like uh, like so and uh, you'd be set to go so I'm gonna actually try to uh, light this thing this probably be a one and a two um, because I'm kind of, I'm kind of a this is an awkward work spot
So anyways, I've got my uh, my uh, fatwood here. See if I can get this to light. There, it's lit. And now I'm just going to pop that in there. And now you can see it is cooking. So the idea now would be that I would keep putting sticks in there and uh, then put my uh, my ice or snow or whatever on there to heat up. So that's what it looks like. And that is a roaring fire. That's pretty good. So that's uh, that's how that goes. And then you just keep keep adding adding to it. But this would let you um, have a, a stove, you know, like say you just had a, a tent, billy can or something. But that would let you have a stove. Uh, you could heat a small shelter, uh, build some or, uh, you know, uh, boil some water, um, uh, melt snow down, whatever. And uh, you'd be uh, you'd be pretty well set. You know, I mean, this and this is putting off quite a bit of heat just with the little tiny bit of material I have in there. And it's um, it's burning pretty good. So that's uh, that's a neat tipper trick that I, I saw a little while ago and I, I thought I'd. Uh, make my own video of it and pass it on so uh anyway that's that i probably won't do a part two now you get you get the point um but if you this it would be good if you had limited dry material you make this thing and then you uh you know i mean look at look at how good that's going i mean i'm amazed at that probably wouldn't make the doors quite as big but i'm really surprised at how much this is kicking off so that's uh that's kind of cool but it's contained flame and all you'd have to do is just have small material or, you know, one good log that you could, you know, just keep taking sticks, finger size sticks off and keep putting in there. But that's, um, wow, man, that is, that is pretty, pretty cool. It's smoky with that fat wood in there. But anyways, so anyways, that's, uh, that's all I wanted to do. Um, I'm not going to keep it going because I basically melted, <laughs> melted the, uh, aluminum on there. So it's not going to support my cup, but uh, that's pretty cool. I would uh, probably just make the doors maybe an inch wide a piece. Um, that way you don't compromise the the stability of the alum the aluminum. But um, that is a that is a good uh, tip or trick though, because you could have a small compact fire, and, you know, acting as like a little space heater or something, just to warm your hands. Or if you had just like a little uh, a lean to shelter, you know, you got something that you could close off the wind and stuff, and then like that you just had limited material. So that's. Uh, that's pretty cool. But anyways, I'm going to uh, wrap up everything else I was doing. But man, that's... I miss I miss the snow. We haven't had any decent snow in the last few years. I've been down in Missouri for six years now. And uh, um, we've only had snow twice. Three years ago when my son was born. And uh, we had it in that, that January, February, March. And then three years later, in uh, now... But we've still only got maybe an inch, and that's about it. And it's not, you know, dumping. It could. It could change, but they weren't really calling. They called for snow in the forecast, and they were actually calling it off. So um, I was surprised when I got up this Sunday morning and, and found snow. So I'm I'm pleased. I'm going to probably walk around a little bit more and uh, just kind of enjoy it. Like that, I, I said in my last video, I... Uh, I would go out to the woods, but I, I'm thinking I may have to go into work. I'm not sure yet. So I just wanted to get out and enjoy it before the phone started ringing.